Every day, the ground beneath the Philippines shudders. Over 12,000 earthquakes in just four years, each one a warning sign. Sitting atop the planet's most volatile collision zone, this nation faces the double threat of a locked fault running under Manila and a hidden trench offshore capable of launching a tsunami in minutes. How close are we to a disaster that could eclipse anything in living memory? The Philippines' earthquake crisis is only beginning. FIVOLCS, the National Authority on Earthquakes, keeps a relentless watch over the country's restless ground. Their seismic catalogue records more than 12,000 earthquakes between 2020 and 2024, an average of eight every single day. Some days, over 70 tremors register in just 24 hours. Most pass unnoticed, tiny slips deep underground, but the threat is never far from the surface. In recent months, a magnitude 5.8 quake rattled southern Luzon, followed just weeks later by a magnitude 6.1 shock that sent thousands fleeing into the streets. These are not isolated incidents. In September 2025, a magnitude 6.9 earthquake struck Cebu province, killing several people and leaving more than 20 buildings in ruins. Even Metro Manila, home to over 13 million, has felt the ground sway from moderate quakes. Reminders that no city is immune. Fivol CS scientists warn this constant shaking is not a sign of safety. Instead, it may signal accumulating stress along locked faults and hidden trenches. Each tremor, whether felt or unfelt, is a data point in a growing record of instability. The question is not whether the ground will move again, but when the next major rupture will strike and how devastating it will be. For the people of the Philippines, the numbers are more than statistics. They are a daily reminder that the earth beneath their feet is always in motion and that the danger is both real and unending. The Philippines owes its constant shaking to its position at one of the most geologically active crossroads on earth. Three massive tectonic plates collide beneath the archipelago. The Philippine Sea Plate presses in from the east, the Eurasian Plate pushes from the west, and the Sunda Plate nudges from the south. Each plate moves at its own relentless pace, grinding, slipping, and locking against its neighbors. This triple plate convergence is not a distant, abstract force. It is the engine behind every tremor and quake that rattles the islands. The country sits squarely within the Pacific Ring of Fire, a vast horseshoe-shaped belt that stretches around the Pacific Ocean. 90% of the world's earthquakes erupt somewhere along its fiery rim. In the Philippines, the boundaries between these plates are not hidden deep beneath the sea. They run directly under cities, mountains, and farmland. The energy released by their collisions builds up slowly, over years or even centuries, then bursts forth in seconds when the rocks finally give way. This deep geology explains why earthquakes strike with such frequency and unpredictability. The Philippine Sea Plate moves northwest at up to 9 centimeters per year, while the Eurasian plate slides southeast, creating a tug of war beneath the surface. The pressure doesn't just vanish. It accumulates along fault lines and subduction zones, storing immense amounts of energy that will eventually be unleashed. Every earthquake, whether minor or devastating, is a direct result of these restless plates in motion, shaping the land and the lives of those who call it home. West of Metro Manila, the seafloor plunges into the Manila Trench a massive scar where the Philippine Sea Plate dives beneath the Eurasian Plate. This trench sits about 100 kilometers offshore, but its reach extends straight into the heart of the capital. Scientists warn that a rupture here could unleash a magnitude 9 earthquake, sending tsunami waves racing toward Manila Bay. In computer simulations, the first surge arrives in as little as 15 minutes. By the 20-minute mark, Water pours into low-lying districts like Navotas and Malabon, flooding neighborhoods before most residents can reach higher ground. The shape of Manila Bay acts like a funnel, amplifying the waves and pushing them deeper inland. For over 13 million people living in Metro Manila, the window for evacuation is brutally short. On land, a separate threat lies hidden beneath the city's busiest streets. The West Valley Fault slices through Quezon City, Marikina, Pasig, Taguig, and Muntinlupa, tracing a path beneath schools, hospitals, and entire subdivisions. Its last major rupture struck in 1658, more than 365 years ago. Geological studies estimate that this fault breaks every 400 to 600 years. That means it is now overdue, locked, 
and steadily building pressure with each passing year. The danger is not abstract. In these neighborhoods, millions go about their daily routines, unaware that their homes and workplaces stand atop a fault capable of tearing the city apart in seconds. The risk is concentrated, immediate and personal, etched into the ground beneath Metro Manila's most densely populated districts. FIVOLG simulations paint a devastating picture for Metro Manila if the West Valley Fault ruptures. In a modeled magnitude 7.2 earthquake, as many as 34,000 people could die in the first hours, with another 114,000 injured across the city. The numbers climb higher as fires break out, water mains burst, and hospitals collapse under their own weight. Over 340,000 buildings are projected to be damaged or destroyed, leaving millions without shelter. These are not just theoretical figures, they are grounded in engineering audits and risk assessments that account for the city's aging and vulnerable construction. A structural engineer reviewing post-2015 audit reports points to a pattern. Many buildings, even those built in the last two decades, fail to meet seismic standards. In some cases, compliance certificates were issued despite visible shortcuts. Steel rebar too thin, columns missing reinforcement, concrete poured without proper inspection. Corruption and cost-cutting have quietly undermined the safety of schools, offices and homes. The projected death toll is not simply the result of natural forces, but of human decisions made over decades, leaving Metro Manila exposed to a disaster on a scale few cities have ever faced. On July 16, 1990, a magnitude 7.8 earthquake struck Luzon, sending shockwaves through Baguio, Cabanatuan and Dagupa. The Hyatt Terraces Hotel collapsed in seconds, trapping guests and staff beneath concrete slabs. Survivors later described singing in the dark to keep hope alive, while others whispered prayers as rescuers dug through the rubble. More than 1,600 people died across northern Luzon. Many victims were inside buildings that by law should have withstood such shaking. Instead, shortcuts and missed inspections left entire structures vulnerable and families lost homes and futures in a single afternoon. Almost three decades later, Mindanao faced its own ordeal. In 2019, four strong earthquakes, magnitude 6.3, 6.6, 6.5, and 6.9, struck within weeks of each other. These were not aftershocks, but separate ruptures triggered by stress transfer between faults. In towns like Makilala, disaster officers used radios to coordinate evacuations, but confusion and poor communication left many unprepared. Over 20 people died, and thousands spent nights outdoors, afraid to return to their homes. Some believe frequent small earthquakes relieve pressure, making big ones less likely. The science tells a harsher truth. It takes a thousand magnitude five quakes to match the energy of a single magnitude seven, and tens of thousands to equal one magnitude nine, the major faults remain locked, storing energy for the next catastrophic release. Across the Philippine archipelago, scientists monitor the slow motion of tectonic plates with remarkable precision. GPS stations anchored in bedrock track the northwest push of the Philippine Sea Plate at rates of 7 to 9 centimeters per year, while the Eurasian Plate slides in the opposite direction. These movements are not theoretical. They are measured, mapped, and confirmed by satellites and ground sensors. The data reveals a sobering reality. The West Valley Fault, the Manila Trench, and other major fault segments are locked tight. Year after year, strain accumulates along these boundaries with no sign of release. Fivolk's geodesists point to these numbers as the final, incontrovertible proof. The scientific consensus is clear. This is not a question of possibility, but inevitability. One Fivolk's expert puts it plainly, we know these faults are locked, GPS and satellite data show the accumulation. It's not if, it's when. The earth beneath the Philippines is primed for a rupture on a scale that defies denial. Between 2020 and 2024, the Philippines recorded over 12,000 earthquakes, an average of eight every day. Scientific records confirm the country sits atop three major tectonic plates, with Metro Manila facing direct risk from both the West Valley Fault and the Manila Trench. PHIVOLCS simulations predict a West Valley fault rupture could kill 34,000 people and destroy over 340,000 buildings, while a Manila Trench earthquake could send a tsunami to Manila Bay in less than 30 minutes. The 1990 Luzon earthquake, which killed over 1,600, 
proved that even modern buildings can fail. Yet despite decades of evidence and new GPS data showing locked faults accumulating stress, most structures in Metro Manila remain vulnerable. Critical questions persist about enforcement of building codes and public awareness of the offshore tsunami threat. What is certain, according to official data and expert consensus, is that the next major earthquake is inevitable. The scale of impact will depend not on if it happens, but on how prepared the country chooses to be.